Being able to save and retain variables in Google Apps Script through their properties is awesome, and it can be a frustrating experience to have to work with it. So I'm going to just breeze through real quick how to use it, the basics. I'm going to focus on how to save user input from a sidebar, such as in a text box or a dropdown, but this will really work for any use with properties. So I have a sidebar set up here for user entry. Once the user enters something on here, let's have them hit submit and let's keep it forever. So I already have this show property, show sidebar set up. Here's my code, but ah, now on open, right? This is standard stuff. Open the sidebar, show it to the user. The form is a lot of blank HTML. We don't want it to be blank. We want to fill this in so that the user can give us information to save. I'll go ahead and have first things first actually is a form. To be able to grab information from the sidebar and keep it, you want to have the form tags on your HTML. And I'm just going to say a uh, real hard hitting question there. And I'm going to use a text input area. Now, the important thing here to realize is this value none, that's the default. So when we save this to a property, that's what will be there by default if the user doesn't put anything. Name is how we're going to reference it when we go to save it. And that being said, how are we actually going to save it? Well, we're going to need a submit button. Now, this is going to be the function that runs when we click submit. We haven't written it yet, but. So it will be called sidebar submit, and that should be the end of our. Yep. Now let's go ahead and write that. So underneath body here in the HTML I have script, and this is where we're going to write that function. All right. So what this is doing function oops, sidebar submit. This is going to get run whenever I click submit. What it's going to do is grab the information from the form. We only have one thing on our form, right? We just have this input type. So it's going to grab that. Well, we have a button, but regardless, it's going to grab that and spit it into this forms. Then we're going to run save sidebar with the argument with the, the argument document.form. So all the data it grabs from here, we're going to run and shove that into save sidebar. What save sidebar? I'm glad you asked. We're going to put it here. That's going to be on this side of the server, and we'll execute it within our JavaScript. So and we need to set up this, though, script property we haven't actually declared. I'm going to put it way up here because we can use it when we uh, save other properties. There we are. And now we'll have access to that as well. And we're going to save this property. Awesome. Let's make sure to hit save here. I'm going to go over here and hit save back over here. And let's try this out. I'm going to go ahead and debug it just to make sure it runs on our spreadsheet. Let's close all this. Let's go property show sidebar. So far, so good. Favorite color. I am going to put red because it's short and I'll hit submit. And you can, if you're not trusting it, da, 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 da. <laughs> now let's see if it's saved. I'm going to magic my way back to our script file project properties right here is where we need to find it. At times properties will take a sec to load. You actually may have to go back out, refresh the whole thing and come back in. And there we are. Boom. Red. Now we can delete it. I can hit save. We can go back at it. And this retains. So if I refresh the browser, I exit this. This is saved as a property. Super handy. I wanted to show real quick how to also do like a drop down menu in your sidebar because it is also useful, something I use a lot at least. I'm just going to push that down some. And I believe through some YouTube magic. Yeah. So this is my drop down menu. It says animal. It's name, right? The select name is animal. And then these are the values Do bird, dog, fish. All right. Now this is going to get passed with form zero. All of that, all of the entry on the form gets passed with this. So what we would really need other than adding the actual thing and making sure it has a name is to head over here and make sure we save it. So I'm going to copy this control C hit enter control V for paste and I can call this whatever my animal. 
But I do need to make sure side data, side data, side data, what is that? Well, that's the forms that gets passed here. So I need to make sure that I am calling it its name, which is animal. Okay, let's save all of this, oops, and all of this, and give it a shot. No way, dog. There we are. Submit, 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 submit. And check it out. Sometimes it can take a sec, I have noticed. So let's go back. And there we are. Especially when first I am, it will at times take a second to load. Boom. And we did it. Tell me about the cool things you're making in the comments. The code is actually linked in the description and make sure to hit like and subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies. Definitely check out the code. Use it however you need.